do the right thing at all times, regardless of who's doing the wrong thing. You know, one evening, this is on a Sunday evening, I was driving down the streets of Lagos and, and I approached a traffic light. There wasn't much traffic going on that day. In fact, there really was no other car crossing past the, the, the light. And so I stopped at the right light because it was a red light. And apparently there had been a little buildup of the traffic behind me. But because there was no other car passing across the road, um, I started to hear the honking of the car behind me. I picked into my rear view mirror and it was a beautiful Jeep, you know. And, and this lady who was driving it was honking and telling me, literally signaling with her hand, go, go, go. Of course I wasn't going to go. I wouldn't go, even if I could, but I wouldn't. And finally, when the light turned green and we turned onto another major intersection, this lady drove up behind me and she started to frantically, as she wound down her glass, said to me in, in a language that I understand, Yoruba, and she was just saying to me, you are mad, you are crazy, for essentially stopping at a red light. What the lady didn't realize is that I am a commissioned officer of the Nigerian police force. And it literally, it's, not, it's unlikely that anybody would have arrested me as a policeman simply because maybe I went past the light. But I would not go past that light, light, not because I'm scared of being arrested, but for the very simple reason that, number one, I fear God. Number two, I love Nigeria and I love the people of this nation. Number three, this is the most important one. I do have a respect for the law. That respect for the law is a respect that I have chosen to give the law because of my values. You see, the other thing that the lady did not realize was that as she was winding down her glass to tell me how crazy I was, she had wound down the glass, the rear glass, and two little beautiful girls were peeping their head out of, the, of, the, of this beautiful Jeep, looking at this man who their mom had just told was a madman for stopping at a red light and you see basically what had happened was they had just gone through their first driving lesson five-year-old and eight-year-old girl and they just learned from their mom that anyone who stops at a red light is crazy this is essentially how we have confused a generation and I'm sure you know that there was a time when there was a generation that knew what was right from wrong and chose to do what was right. And somehow they passed on the wrong signal to the next generation. Once that generation got confused, they started to look at what was right and look at what was wrong and called what was wrong all right. You know the word all right comes from two words, altered right. It used to be wrong, but somehow now it's all that right it's all right but guess what we have now come to another generation and i think they are the most confused this is the generation that begins to think that what is wrong is right and what is right is wrong and so we have to go to a place where we restore not only our values but we put it back the right values into the consciousness of our people and the only way we can do so is each of us, especially you and I, choosing to be the A, B, C, D of our values. In other words, first we have to be A, the advocates of our values. We have to be the proponents of these values. We have to go out and, and, and literally on behalf of the values, tell people what we stand for. My great mentor, Dr. Christopher Collade said, it's not enough for you to stand for what is right. You must let people know what you stand for. But then, Apart from being an advocate, we have to be, become believers and behaviors of our values. In other words, don't just say what you believe, behave in accordance with your beliefs. And then there is C, be a champion for your values. Choose to make and convince other people what it is that you stand for. And the last one, be a defender for your values. You know, you have to defend your values. Every time your values are violated, stand up for your values. You're standing on a queue and somebody else wants to go past that queue, say something. Don't just say, Nigerians. No, say something. Insist that your values, the right values, must also be defended. And this is how we will put the right values back into the consciousness of our nation. Each one advocating, believing and behaving 
convincing and defending our values. So go ahead and do the right thing at all times, regardless of who is doing the wrong thing.